Now, in this module, let's talk about virtualization environment security. First of all, the question arises, what is virtualization? Virtualization is the engine or the underlying technology or the enabler for all the developments which have taken place in cloud or cloud computing. Now, in cloud computing, what has really happened is that the entire business paradigm has changed because previously organizations, in order to conduct IT or to run IT, had to build a data center, which includes having space, cooling, hardware purchases, capex, uh, capital expenditures. You have to buy all this equipment and run it in a data center, in a huge data center. And with cloud computing, now what you can do is that you can kind of outsource your computing requirements either to a third party like Amazon or uh, to Google, which run these um, public clouds, or you can set up your own private cloud or your hybrid cloud and run cloud computing with the help of virtualization. And virtualization, through the capabilities that it provides, provides us so much flexibility and elasticity on how we actually use the computing resources because of those VM images. Now, when we come to the security of virtualization, which is the engine driving the phenomenal change in cloud computing all around the world, Cloud Security Alliance has published a document called Best Practices for Mitigating Risks in Virtual Environments. This is a pub, it's available on the net, and you can just search this and find it, find this document, and you must read it. It provides 10 or 11 top risks um, in, uh, in the virtualization space for mitigating risks in virtual environments. And it has categorized these risks into three areas, architectural, hypervisor, and configuration related. So this is a view of the uh, document, Best Practices for Mitigating Risks in Virtualized Environments by Cloud Security Alliance, an excellent document. I have listed top five risks in the document, and there are about 10 or 11, so you should go ahead and read the entire document. But it talks about VM sprawl, uh, sensitive, sensitive data within the VM, security of offline and dormant VMs, security of pre-configured golden image VMs, and lack of visibility into virtual networks. So what we will do is we will talk about the top two risks only, and then for the remaining risks, you can go ahead and you can study the document. So risk number one is VM sprawl. Now what happens is that the impact of this is that VMs can be created very quickly, uh, self-provisioned or moved between physical servers, avoiding conventional, long, detailed change management processes. And this is what makes computing agile now with, with the virtualization. And with the proliferation of VMs, um, what's happening is that the impact is that this is causing huge performance and security risks. Now, and that is obviously because there are so many uh, VMs that there's a sprawl, and then how will you control all those VMs and the security? So the controls recommended uh, by Cloud Security Alliance is that there should be policies, procedures in place for the governance of, vir of virtual machine life cycle management, and that should be actually controlled and governed, and the control, creation, storage, and use of VM images should be with a formal change management process. And you should discover the VMs and apply the security controls on those VMs as a regular part of your risk management program. Also in the controls, Cloud Security Alliance recommends that you should keep a small number of identified, good, um, working, and patched images of a guest operating system separately for fast recovery and restoration of the systems. And this should be separate from all the other VMs. Let's look at risk number two, uh, sensitive data within a VM. So the impact is that VM images and snapshots can be copied very easily onto a USB or console of a hypervisor installed somewhere else. And you know because these VMs are easily accessible and can be copied easily, can be extracted easily, this poses a risk. And the controls recommended are that um, you should encrypt data stored on virtual and cloud servers, and there should be policies in place to restrict storage of VM images and snapshots. And also, image change management process should be in place with approvals. Whenever you want to take an image and place it somewhere else, it should be through a change management process, and that there should be logging and monitoring in order to make sure 
that whenever a VM is being accessed or it's being copied or placed somewhere, the administrators are being logged and monitored. And there's a team which is monitoring and can detect if there is some uh, activity happening which is adverse uh, to the organization or which is against the policies. Thank you.